Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six String Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we'll learn how to play Classical Gas by Mason Williams. Okay, so this song is number 55 on my top 60 finger picking songs to learn of all time list. If you haven't seen that list, be sure to check it out. If you like the songs, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these great finger style guitar lessons. Anyway, let's get going with Classical Gas. Okay, so if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to get the whole lesson for it, that is available on the website, sixstringfingerpicking.com. So make sure you check it out. We've got the whole tab and, and the whole song lesson right there. So in this lesson, we're going to jump in and we're going to learn the verse. <laughs> Okay, so we're in the key of A minor. So holding down an A minor shape, start there but with your first finger off and play the A and the B string together. And then you hammer the first fret on the B string and then you pull off again. And then it goes back on. Like that, so. And back on. Then you play the G, second fret, then the open A, first fret on the B, D string, second fret and then the open B string again. So you've gone. Okay. And then third finger on the third fret of the E string for a G and play um, the E string, open D, open G. Then move down to the second fret on the E string, play that, open D, open G. And then open low E and open D. So you've gone. Playing eighth notes there, one and two and three and four and. So they're the first two bars. Okay, then after that, it's to an E minor chord, but you just play the open E string with an open B string. Then on the G, you play two open two. E string, open B string, open E string again, and then second fret. Okay, and I catch that with my third finger because immediately after that we go back to the A minor shape. Okay, so that from the E minor. Okay, so we've gone. And then holding that down, you just need those two fingers on there really, second fret on the D, second fret on the G. Play A, D, G, A, D. Okay. You've got to get the rhythm right. The rhythm is funny in this song. You're dealing with eighth, no, eighth notes most of the time. Not triplets or anything like that. It's straight apes. So that's the first four bars. And it's really important that you practice these, these four bars round and round many times. And I recommend as soon as you can, get a metronome clicking. And playing along. And gradually start building up the speed. So you can just do that, I think, four times and then you kind of go into the pre-chorus part. But if you listen carefully, I kind of hear... I think on the second and the third time through, um, you, on that A minor, instead of playing at the end, I hear. So you go through. And then. Okay, so that's on the second and third repeat. So what's that? You play open A, and then open D and open G, and then second on the D and G, and you do that twice. 
then A, D. So, and second fret on the D, open A, second fret on the D. So it's one and two and three and four and. So you get first time, pick through, second time, then you get the, oh sorry, like that. Okay, so that's kind of the first first progression that goes round and round, and then um, after that you are into the pre-chorus, which we'll take a look at right now. So on the fourth time through the progression, you get and that goes into the chorus. So that's the part we're going to look at right now. So the fourth time through, that's exactly the same. And then here, you, you're holding down these two again, that A, the, it's an A sus 2 shape, hold that down and then play the A string, D string, G string, and open B, okay? So, and then it goes to a G, so you play the third fret on the E string, open G, open B, and then first on the B, so you've gone, then to an A minor shape, so you play open A, second fret on the G, First fret on the B, and then a G slash B, so you play the second on the A, open G, third on the B, and then still holding that down, play the A string, and then the G. So, so far you've gone. And then to a C chord, and I'm holding down a C chord, play the A string and a high E string. Then the G, open, and then third on the B, and then take your second finger and move that down to the second on the G with the first fret still on the first fret of the B. First finger, first fret of the B. And then you put your little finger on the third fret of the B, still keep your second finger on the G. And play that, so you've gone. And then play the second on the D. Okay, and then open B to the first fret of the B. And then a pull off, I believe. Like that, so that's and then to an F chord basically hold that F note down on the E string, that's the first fret, with the second on the G, play those together, then open G, and then second fret on the G with an open E, and then you play that A note on the G string, second fret again, so it's like and then open G. So I know I've gone over that quite quick, but there's so much to get through. And then we go back to this A sus2 chord, play open A with the second fret of the G, pick through the chord again, and then do the same on the G, same on the A minor, and then same on this G slash B. There we get. So that's a C chord. So holding down a C, play the A string and the high E string, followed by the B, followed by the G. And then it's to an F chord and play the F note in the bass on the E string, first fret, with the one on the E, one on the B, and two on the G. So play the two E strings, B, G. So you've gone. D7, play the D string with the second on the high E, play those two. First fret on the B, second fret on the G. G chord, I believe. Yeah, on the G chord, play the two E strings. And then open B, open G. Uh, and then open E with the fourth fret on the high E. Open B string. And then the 5 on the high E, pull off to open, then open B, and then you play this B note, the 7th fret on the high E string, and by that point you've built up so much tension, it has to resolve to the chorus, which if you want to learn, you're going to have to go over to the website, sixstringfingerpicking.com, 
uh, as I said earlier, that's where you can get the whole lesson. Thanks so much for checking out this lesson. I really do hope that you've enjoyed it and that you've got plenty to work on and keep you busy. I just want to say that if you are serious about your fingerstyle guitar playing, then perhaps consider trying one of my fingerstyle guitar courses that are available on the website. There's about five courses up at the moment and I'm working on new ones all the time. So yeah, learning how to play the songs, learning how to play songs is very, very important, but it's such a tiny part about playing any musical instrument. Uh, and in the courses I go into great detail on all things finger style. So as I say, if you're serious, I think it's well worth checking out and you could really, um, you know, it may be a, good, be a good investment in your playing. But anyway, just wanted to put that in there and thank you once again for checking out this lesson. Cheers. <laughs>